Hi, welcome back. I am so happy you're here. In today's video, I am going to share with you practical, actionable things that you can do as well as the mindset that you need to really thrive this holiday season. So we're just a few days away from Thanksgiving and you can take what I'm gonna share with you to not only have an incredible holiday season that's gonna help you with all the things, but especially around food, um, and sticking to your healthy habits and who you want to be, but you can also apply these same things to you throughout this holiday season. So for those that are new to me, I'm Melissa Catherine. I am a holistic nutritionist. I have a background in reprogramming the subconscious mind and supporting with food, our emotions and self-sabotage. I'm also a gifted intuitive. I combine all of this to really give you a cohesive look at exactly what to do, but I like to make it really simple and easy. So let's get into it. So if you've struggled with your weight, I always say if you struggle with your weight for more than a year, you don't have a weight issue. You generally have a lack of a relationship with yourself and there's a dependency, a relationship with food. Now, why I bring that up and if you've dieted and been in a dieting cycle and if you're new to me, I had been a chronic dieter and disordered eating for many years. I can also tell you that the holidays are a very triggering time and a lot can come up. And so I say that to you because I wanna give you everything that you need so that it doesn't feel like you're internally battling food, people, what's going on, and really being in a fear-based state around gaining weight um, or falling out of healthy habits. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Have you already started with your healthy habits and are afraid that you're gonna lose them? Or are you just sitting there going, I, I really want this to be a goal of mine going into 2024? Let me know in the comments below. So first and foremost, when it comes down to it, let's just go with the basics. One, we really wanna make sure that we get sleep through the holidays. What happens when we don't is we crave carbs, we crave sugar, and our defenses are completely down and the body is looking for immediate hits of sugar. So you're going to sit there and want to just eat the things that you generally know are not going to support you. So what do you do if you're short on sleep? What if you're like, Melissa, I was up all night, I was staying at a family's, I couldn't sleep or I just had a baby or, or all the things are going on and I'm, I'm anxious and overwhelmed. Well, what we wanna do so that we don't go right for carbs and sugar and carbs turn into sugar and pastries and all the things that we know are just gonna make us feel lethargic. I always say if you eat crappy food, you're gonna think crappy thoughts and feel crappy about yourself, right? So we don't wanna do that. What we wanna do instead is have protein. If you are short on sleep, the best thing to do is for you to get protein in your body. The protein is going to stave off cravings, keep you fuller longer, keep you focused, and most of all, like I said, it's gonna stave off cravings. Add in a little bit of healthy fat, and that is your dynamic duo. So instead of going for the bagel in the morning or the pancakes or the waffle or the toast with nut butter or avocado, go for protein. Add an egg to that. It will make a huge difference. Next, let's talk about those sneaky little food pushers. The, I like to call them family food pushers. They're the ones that really have a hard time that you have now created healthy habits or are not wanting to eat all of Aunt Peg's pie, right? Like it's the one where it's like, well, just have a slice, have a slice. And you're like, I finally started to see my waist. <laughs> I'd like to not have all the pie right now. Um, or just, you know, I'm, I'm half Italian, half Irish. So when I started shifting into clean eating, got away from pasta and started going more for protein, it was hard for the Italian side of my family. It was like, you're what? And what? It was almost like I was, um, you know, me turning down their food was like an affront of me basically being like, I don't love you. <laughs> That's not okay, right? So you have to be really grounded in yourself. So what do we do with the family of food pushers? And what do we do with the part of ourselves, especially women here that love to people please at an expense to yourself? This is when you have to get grounded in your truth and just literally say, I'm good right now, I'll come back, I'm, I'm full at the moment, I'll have a little bit, I'm just gonna take a break from food and I'll come back in a bit, right? The other thing is you could always just put a very small piece on your plate and just say, I'm just gonna have a bite right now, but I will make sure to have some before I leave or I can always take it home with me. 
It's about you standing in your worth for what you're taking a stand for, for your health goals. So everybody else will conform to what you do for you. And you might have to repeat it over and over again, like I did, and even make up with some jokes or this or that. But either way, it's about you taking care of you. At the end of the day, you are going to sleep with you and you need to feel good in your body. So people pleasing somebody else in the family, no bueno, right? That's not what we want to do here. That's not really in, in wholeness. It's about coming home to ourselves, right? Okay, next, number three. So, so far we talked about getting your sleep. The second thing we talked about were family food pushers. So let's bring it back to a basics and it's a simple thing of water. Ah, oh, lady loves. Guys, our body is comprised 73% of water. Our brain is made up 90% of water. We need water. If you have a hard time getting it down, drink herbal teas. Um, I have a, a water book recipe it's called Sip Yourself Slim. It's all different water infusions. There are so many different things that you can do. I can put it in the links below, but regardless, add um, some fruit, add some mint, uh, you know, add a little lemon juice, anything, apple cider vinegar, which actually helps to curb cravings and cut fat and acts as, you know, truly, um, that's just a little tip, um, have apple cider vinegar in a glass of water, two tablespoons and, and, you know, six to eight ounces of water before a meal. And that's actually going to help to keep you fuller, longer, and in really releasing weight as you eat. It's it's very, very beautiful. I could go more into that in more depth. I wasn't planning on talking about that point, so I hope that came out right. But it's supportive in your digestion and can act as, as a digestive aid as well as a weight loss aid. Now, water is essential and water is also gonna help you to identify, am I full? When oftentimes, when we think we're hungry, we're actually thirsty. And you notice this because you're wanting to like suck on fruit, drink soup, drink the milk from cereal. Like you're really just wanting liquids and that's how you know. So hydration, next up. Well, and this is a really, really important one. And this is something that I teach in all of my programs. Plate it, portion it, put it away. Often, especially around the holidays, whether we're baking, whether we're helping with food, whether we're putting things out, we're taking all these nibbles and then we're not hungry. Do you want to know one of the best things when you go out to eat or when you sit down for a holiday meal is to actually be so hungry that you appreciate the food so much? You appreciate every ounce of that food, right? Well, that's what you want to do. You want to get yourself to that state. So plate it, portion it, put it away. If you're going to eat, put it on a plate, portion it out and put it away. No food guessing here. No, I think that's about this much. This is where people, it's the same thing with a bowl of cereal as a thing of potatoes, right? We're like, oh, it's just a half a cup. And then we realized we, it was really a portion of like three cups. So plate it, portion it and put it away. Only eat things that are on a plate when you're sitting down and trust me, you are gonna save your waistline. Okay, next, 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 next. Start getting in the habit during the holidays and in general of moving first thing in the morning. What this does is it gets you in the mindset of I take care of me first. And it also helps to keep you aligned with eating and making good choices throughout your day. It's also great to get your family, if you notice your family's more sedentary, get them involved in doing a walk for a cause, which definitely go on around the holidays. Um, just going out around the neighborhood, a game of football outside, whatever it is, but the more that you can move and be in fresh air and invite in your family, especially after you eat, but in particular, first thing in the morning, if you take care of you, you will be aligned throughout your day and it's going to be a game changer for you. Trust me. And once you start that healthy habit, it will continue well into the new year. And that one you will, you will love. Trust me. I did it myself. I used to be like, no, I'm a night owl. I'm this, I'm that. And then I changed it and I help people. I always help people to change it. And when you do, you realize you work out first thing and by 10 o'clock in the morning, you're like, oh my God, I already worked out. Thank God, like I'm done. It's not that you don't enjoy it, but you have the whole rest of the day and the night to be with your family, to be in your life, right? Without feeling like you have this thing hanging over you. It's really beautiful to take care of you first thing in the morning. Something else that I absolutely love that I teach 
mindset wise is scripting out what you want your reality to be. You're going to get a pen and paper, hopefully you have your journal, and you're going to write before the day starts, don't even talk to anybody yet. I am, I have, I am so, let me give you an example. I'm so happy and grateful that I had the most incredible holiday with my family. It was pe peaceful. I went to bed with my heart full and so happy. I'm really proud of the food choices that I made. I made sure to take care of me. I honored my word. I honored my body. I'm feeling so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We wanna do three thank yous at the end. That scripting is like magic. I just had a client in our Limitless Academy go, oh my God, Melissa, everything I'm writing is coming true. And I was like, it is powerful. As are all the techniques that I teach in that course, but I say this because scripting is a beautiful thing. Remember, we always wanna apply the mindset, right? The practical, the spiritual, and the mindset pieces to give you a cohesive understanding of how to co-create the reality that you want for yourself. And that's what we're doing here. Okay, this is my motto. Anybody that knows me knows that they always go an MK motto and MKism, my clients call it. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. There is this thing we really want to get out of, I'm kind of combining two of them, out of the holiday mentality. Well, I only get this food during the holiday. I only get Aunt Peg's pie during the holiday. I only get this, right? Because chances are you can get turkey, Thanksgiving, cranberry, stuffing. Yes, there can be those signature dishes or things that you only get within your family, then plan for them, right? But we really want to get out of the mentality of, oh, it's the holidays, F it all. Because trust me, it is proven that women gain between five and eight pounds from Halloween to New Year's. That is, a, that, that can be, that's a lot, um, especially if you're a smaller frame and you don't want to step into the new year wishing that you could get like going for one of these fad diets or crazes or you're only drinking shakes or you're doing like, a, you know, a cleanse and this and that. It's, you really want to learn how to be with your body and be able to enjoy the holidays without feeling like you need to sacrifice or restrict yourself and deprive yourself of joy because food's meant to enhance your experience, but it's not meant to be the soul experience, okay? Um, so we really wanna, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. I'm a dessert person, so I often will look at the desserts first because I care more about the desserts than I do the rest of it, and I'm like, okay, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. That is something that I really wanna say to you to practice, and something can look incredible like I had this with this chocolate cake and I was like, I have to have the chocolate cake. I went and I got it and it was a dry cake. Like I like moist cake. I just don't, I know that word moist, but um, I, I didn't know. And so I just found myself and I was like, I'm gonna get rid of it. Like I don't, I don't want it. If I'm doing this, like I would rather have something that's, that's really lighting me up. But you know, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. It's the same thing that I do when I declutter my closet. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. <laughs> okay. Um, now, the other thing that I want to tell you, and I touched on this earlier, it's not about the food. We really want to make our holidays about the people, about the traditions, being present to the people. And then the food is an enhancement, right? The food is an enhancement, but when it's all about the food, then you're going to overeat. And if you're making the whole holiday about what you get to eat, then you're making the whole holiday about food and you will find yourself regretting it, you know, very shortly after. Um, and so I really, really want to encourage you be present to the people now more than ever, put the phones away, disconnect, put them in a basket when you first walk in and be present to the people and be open and script that, you know, I'm open to the gifts that this holiday brings. I'm open to the love that is here for me. I'm open to see things differently, especially if there's things that are going on that, that you don't really want. And that way you stay connected to your truth and you don't use food to soothe. So I hope you found these super helpful. Stay tuned and make sure to subscribe because all through December, I'll be doing healthy, healthy habits and tips for you each day that will include, include oh my gosh, everything um, about how to enjoy this holiday season and how to stay healthy and to feel and look fabulous because that's what you deserve. I hope to see you in the next video. 
Subscribe, hit that bell, share this video. I love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm so grateful for you and I'll see you in the